is this? Chess? What is a board of chess doing here in perfect symmetry? Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll just do this then. Good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good, uh, whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is... So, I'm going to be doing something a little different here. Uh, for a couple of things, this channel, Toasted Ideas, should have a trailer. And so, I just thought, why not have the channel trailer be the reason for why I'm conservative? I do conservative politics and news and just think that liberals are mentally lacking. But what are my positions or ideals in life? Am I someone who is conservative through and through? Or am I just someone who sees the world for what it has become under liberal rule and think that it is disgusting? Well, uh, before I dive in, I'm going to say that my positions are probably going to ruffle some feathers. Maybe not. But overall, I really don't care, because I'm just speaking for myself and where I stand and what I think. You can sound off in the comments if you want, and I'll probably respond to it. Now, there are a lot of different avenues that I could take this holistic term, and a lot of those directions will lead to this video being less viewed, for YouTube's sake. Uh, so, here. Uh, here's how I will start by doing that thing that any political leader does, which is create a little montage to make the people feel as if I am just like them. Uh, just kidding, but not really, because uh, for the most part, I am just like most people nowadays. Broke, only eating when necessary, and have a complicated family life. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into much detail there, but the point is, is that I'm kind of a nobody when it comes to having a voice. I'm an ex-gamer who grew up with an immense interest in creating music, which uh, got crumbled over time. Uh, forget my nerd-like voice, because it is not actually because I'm bad at being musical, just uh, rather that um, uh, if an interest gets buried for too long, uh, don't be confused when that interest finds an early grave. Uh, not that I buried it, but um, uh, uh, never mind. The point is that I'm a nobody. I'm going to live as a nobody and leave Earth as a nobody. I, am I happy with that? No, but I just play the cards that I'm dealt. Uh, but uh, growing up as a Canadian, I've obviously gotten a more libertarian type growing up. You know, uh, hearing more liberal ideas thrown about and seeing the growth of the liberal movement more so than the conservative movement. I've seen how things have progressed, or as I think, uh, regressed. Over time, houses ha uh, cost more, food costs more, driving costs more, mental health problems have increased, homelessness has increased, the food bank goers increase every day. Meanwhile, the income for working has not done nearly the same type of increase. So, uh, in other words, the dollar has decreased. And growing up as a uh, to-be man, that also means that I have experienced a good portion of the uh, womanism movement. It used to be about getting things that men were able to get, that being jobs and equal pay, and then over time it switched to becoming outspoken against terrible men for doing terrible things, which is good. But over time, that has since progressed further into just calling every man. And, uh... Here goes the list. One, trash. Two, garbage. Three, dangerous. Scary, creepy, not needed, not wanted. Start, we should start life in prison or deserve nothing good in life. And uh, Santa's scroll just keeps on flipping open with how many different ways that men are described as nowadays. Point being that while the world is getting nowhere but harder for just living's sake, 
then society decides to pound on that even more by making it seem like men are worthless in society. And then, if you're a child that grows up with absent parents who just shove an iPad in your face, then you grow up with an unrealistic knowledge for how women act in real life. If you live life off of social media rather than just real life, then you'll really quickly become vexed by how all women want a man who makes over 100k a year, over 6 foot, uh, is it 6 foot 3? Or has that moved up to like 6 foot 5 or something? Uh, continuing on though, cause then we've got the classic 6 foot and 6 inches to add onto those things. None of it is realistic, and most of those women live in the gutters of LA, Vegas, or Miami. But if you're an impressionable boy or teen growing up, then your echo chamber becomes your reality pretty quickly. And with the statements that are already talked about above, that being the whole all men are trash stuff, then growing up with the internet hooked into your veins becomes a really hard thought path to break. When outside of that, it is the same stuff. I look into the dating world, and while I'm currently making strides in it, and things are currently going well, I have to say that the scene is messed up. And yes, I do blame liberalism with this, cause with it we've seen the current day turmoil of trying to start a relationship. From it bruise, situationships, the forever talking stage, confusion, and more and more confusion. To where nowadays, I have to question whether or not who I'm dating can define a woman, while also calling themselves a smart person. Uh, that is a hypothetical, cause it has never uh, personally happened to me, and I've also never just asked that question, but it is weird that I even have to note that that is a hypothetical, right? And then on top of that, women have contraceptives, which hormonally change who they're attracted to. I could go from being someone who she's into, to then being someone who she's apparently never really loved or even wanted. And all be all of that is that liberalism has made the dating scene a complete and utter scene of confusion. So how do I wrap this up in a neat little bow? Well, uh, I don't know. I just look out into the world and I see the world that liberalism has created, and I see a, uh, in a simple term, I see a terrible future for myself, for my possible children, and for everyone else who is not insane. While liberalism has been in power, we have a worse military, a worse dating experience, a worse natality rate, a worse living situation, a worse safety feature, uh, i.e. New York having women getting punched. We have a worse homeless situation, worse finances, and on and on that list goes. Cause the main point is, is that, and look, I'm being unironic with this. Even though I'm a Christian, I have to say, isn't it funny how the book written eons ago is still true? Cause if liberalism isn't a subsequent house built on sand, then I don't know what is. Cause with time, the house of liberalism is falling down more and more as time and truth come to wash. Whereas conservatism being the proverbial uh, traditional party is still here. We've quote unquote progressed as a society, yet traditional things are still wanted cause they work better. I'm conservative cause it's been here for ages. And unsurprisingly, as much as we've progressed, we still want that traditional stuff. Things that are built on solid foundation stay standing, and things built on reality bending materials are the same things that end up crumbling in this end. Which is also why I allocate liberalism with stupidity, cause why would you vote for something that doesn't work? Might as well as add inane to that list of terms that fit beside a liberal cut. Might as well add, might as well add inane to that list of terms that fit beside liberal, cause they're silly. Conservatism is a good thing for our future, and has survived the test of time, so why not 
do the right thing by voting for the obviously correct choice. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.